Learn to be super successful. Subscribe to my channel, me head. Thank you. Uh, does anybody that's English is not their primary language not understand that? How many is English is not your primary language? Would you please put your coat on? Okay. Um, one of you yesterday, um, who's living in Dubai, who's from Italy, uh, brought to my attention, not directly, but indirectly, the uh, fact that I use uh, idioms, axioms, a lot of other things that are um, um, specialties to English. Not necessarily the Queen's English, but American English. So uh, if you don't understand something I say, please, you know, and I'll, I may not acknowledge you right then, but then I'll, okay, what did you want? To, uh, because it's important that you uh, understand these things. Now, almost everybody, now we had a guy, uh, we had, when I had a 13-year-old here uh, years ago, and I said cocksucker. And it didn't dawn on me that a 13-year-old kid wouldn't necessarily know what the fuck that meant. Uh, and his older brother, who came, brought it to my attention. So he went through the whole goddamn seminar, because I used that quite a bit. Uh, the nuns seemed to understand it. Priests and rabbis and shamans seemed to understand it, but a 13-year-old kid. Now, I knew what that was when I was 13, but then not everybody had my kind of background. Uh, but um, the, um, it's... Um, when uh, Corona first broke out, um, and I made a bunch of predictions back in March uh, 2020, um, every single one has come true. I said there will be four waves. We're in the middle of the third. And I wish, uh, although I don't invest in the market because I don't want to be in competition with you, even though it's not really any competition, but, and that's why Sally and I are in cash. But um, the kids that were here, and then the police closed this down, that seminar. The first one was in March, right after Corona broke out. And they made them go home after the, I think it was the third day. It might have been the second day. And then some of them still haven't been, all of them haven't come back because where they live, because of the uh, various quarantines. Um, but to say that my uh, commentary was prophetic, uh, I called negative oil. I don't like to blow smoke up my own ass, but I mean, I was right on. And just as I, t I told them then, and now, we haven't seen anything yet. And the fact that the stock market is climbing a wall of fear doesn't mean a fucking thing. Doesn't mean a fucking thing. Um, so if you have anything, please, or you don't understand anything, please ask me. So everybody understands this? Okay. Um, this is the eighth of Corona time. A thousand years from now, when the Martians are picking through our bones, and they say, you know, like, this is the, uh, the fourth Caesar, and the this and the that, and the, uh, the Philistines, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is the eighth during the corona time. Uh, and we're going to continue, and corona time is going to last a long time. Um, uh, masks, uh, or the paraphernalia, some of the paraphernalia that is now considered normal, that didn't consider, wasn't considered normal before, is going to be with us for a long time. For those of you of Asian descent, you know that in Asia, they've been wearing masks a long time. They've been wearing masks a long time. Uh, a few housekeeping announcements. Um, because YouTube has forced me to allow advertising on, but I still don't allow comments. Um, so that's why we have advertising on, on my... Uh, uh, YouTube account now, and uh, I've been banned by Facebook a long time now, and I've been banned by uh, Instagram, uh, and it's taken us almost a year and a half to get them to close the Instagram account down, and I'm not sure it's even closed down now, it's still, and they don't allow you to close it down even though I'm banned, uh, and for those of you that have tried to get off Facebook, you understand what I'm talking about, it's not easy, it's not easy, uh, and if that was a regular business, you know, it, it'd be illegal. But, I mean, those big companies are pretty much in control of our destiny going forward. Um, the, uh, so now I can only be followed on LinkedIn and YouTube, but I don't respond. Um, Wikipedia has blocked any comments 
to add, uh, and they've uh, eliminated about 85 or 90 percent of my Wikipedia things that you can write about me. Um, and all they say is I went to uh, San Fernando Valley State College, which turned into CSUN, and I run uh, various businesses here from the castle, and the shareholders threw me out. That's basically all they say. None of the other things, because Wikipedia has a hard on for me. Uh, but be my guess if you think you can get something on Wikipedia, uh, be my guess, because uh, there's a lot more about me than what's on there now. Um, I've told the people that we've got a, a year uh, backup uh, to come to the seminar. And that means somebody has paid. Some of you have paid to get on a waiting list, and now you're here. Uh, but people, life happens. In fact, there's at least one of you that's a replacement for somebody that had signed up before because, I don't know, somebody in his family died or his four-year-old daughter got pregnant or some shit. Something always happens in life. So for those of that are watching on YouTube, what you, you can, if you put your money up, possibly uh, come to the seminar in the next few months. Uh, but possibly not because we already have um, more than enough people to, for the rest of the year. Um, to corona the castle up, to get it ready f like this. We didn't have to build this thing, as I told you. Uh, you know, we've spent a few hundred thousand dollars getting all the bedrooms to have their own private bathrooms, et cetera, et cetera, which wasn't the case before. Uh, in, in olden times, and depending on where you're staying on the estate, when they built it, they didn't build it so each bedroom had an ensuite toilet. Uh, so, but all the uh, bedrooms now on the estate, inclu including the cottages, have their own toilet, et cetera. Um, Everybody that's here, almost everybody that's here, made some sort of sacrifice. Quarantine. Now, I wouldn't say quarantine to see, hear me. So congratulations for those of you that did stay in the quarantine. But I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't be staying in quarantine for Jesus Christ himself, Allah, or Muhammad. So the fact that you made that sacrifice is, you know, is quite admirable. Uh, I'm in great health, and I, can, I plan on giving seminars the rest of this year, there's no guarantee that I'll give them next year, but I am going to plan on giving them uh, the rest of this year. We still haven't got any dates past August, I believe, um, but I'm almost positive that we'll give one in one a month. But it depends. It depends on my health and it depends on other things. Um, I'll be 76 in a few days, um, and I plan on spending the rest of my life, the majority of my life, uh, for charity work. Um, 20 million, no one will be local travel. Uh, devotee travel plan. Oh, I'm, gonna see, I'm now seeing people as I travel around. The, I'm, I'm not leaving the UK this year, but uh, when I go to London, uh, we go down to visit Sally's uh, ill brother and ill mother. Uh, we're starting to see people, so we have lists of people where I see them for 20, 30 minutes for free, and just to see what the, uh, the pulse of uh, the world, or now the pulse of the UK is going to be, <laughs> or is, just as I did before COVID. Um, I'm not taking on any more chairs. I've already taken on two this year. I'm not taking any more this, this year. Um, the, uh, we're going to talk more about faith. Um, and we're, I've already mentioned about the mini-me's, but there's a lot of guys uh, and a few gals that are trying to pretend that I have sanctioned their product, which I haven't. I haven't sanctioned anybody's product. Uh, and right now we're going after uh, a few in court in various parts of the world. And remember, I told you that I'm going to tell you the rest of this week. You can do QLA any place as long as there's a rule of law. A real rule of law. There's no real rule of law in Russia. There's no real rule of law in the Ukraine. There's no real rule of law in Belarus. There's no ru real rule of law in India. There's no real rule of law in certain parts of South America. In certain parts of Central America certain parts of Asia, but where there's a real rule of law, you can do this. And that means when somebody fucks you, you can go to court, or you can threaten to go to court. The best places to do this are the United States, the UK, Canada, and most of what was old Western Europe, um, and um, certain parts of Africa, um, South Africa, not, well, I shouldn't say that because we've done it in Ethiopia, but it's harder in Ethiopia and various other places. Now, uh, this is a cheap marketing trick 
that uh, my competitors would use. But I'm going to give away a million dollars this week to somebody. To somebody, I'm going to give away a million dollars. And um, there's no upsell connected to it. Uh, and I'll announce it before the end of the week. Might announce it on graduation night. Um, but um, normally it would be a lot of fanfare, uh, and there would be, uh, you know, uh, shit on the internet. And but I'm just I'm I'm making the announcement now that I uh, will announce before the end of the week the gift of a million bucks, which means I'll have to pay gift tax. You can think about who it might go to. Now, I said last night when I was talking up here before dinner, congratulations to Jeff. It was his dream from 21 years ago, and I knew or met Jeff about 20 years ago. Uh, and he was just a little nerd, a little computer nerd, like some of you. Had a bald head. He, he wasn't as bald as he is now, but he still was bald. Um, and he had a dream 21 years ago. Um, and the, uh, for those of you that uh, know anything about him, he's Cuban and his, uh, his, uh, his mother remarried, and, eh, all kinds of bullshit. Doesn't, none, of that, none of that fucking matters. And uh, it matters that he just gave his ex-wife, I don't know, um, umpteen billions. Um, and um, she just gifted 40 million of her money to my school that you gotta explain about. Uh, how she picked well, I know how she picked uh, my uh, university, you've got to explain about it, because since I went there, it has turned into uh, a great university in three areas, none of those areas that I go to school there for. But it's got a, a great television and arts uh, program, it's got a great engineering program, and it's got a great accounting program, world-renowned. But 25 years ago, which it was my, it took me 25 years to create a trillion dollars to you guys, because I've been the trillion dollar man for over three years, who had the harder time? Me, getting a million people to create a million dollars. If I'd known it was that fucking hard, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. Um, but he had a dream. And like in the, in the sound of music, you know, uh, you can't have a dream come true unless you have a dream, right? Most of you, when you uh, listed on your paperwork the um, goals that you had, with one or two exceptions in the room, they're not even worth writing down. And you had some time to think about it. So it wasn't something that you just, off the top of your head, and if your goals are that low, after you had time to think about it, Murph, what the fuck? That's tragic. It's beyond tragic. Whatever word is be transcends tragic, that's what it is. It's tragic how low self-esteem that you can have. And the size of your dream is directly proportionate to your um, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-awareness. And if after thinking about it, they're that low, there used to be a saying in my neighborhood, how low can you go? Now, they were referring to the, uh, the, the trashy girls that you went out with, you know? And as my mother, uh, only bits of advice my mother ever gave me that was worth a shit is uh, you go to bed with dogs, you get up with fleas. And she wasn't referring to about my, my pet dog. She was referring to some of the um, young ladies that I, uh, I uh, went out with. And in my day, you only went out for one thing, to get fucked. That's it. I've never bought candy, flowers, uh, you know, uh, cards that you give them uh, on Valentine's Day, that kind of shit, never. And now you can do it easily on uh, the internet, I'm told. Never. Not once. And almost everybody in this room has done one of the above that I just mentioned. And how's your program worked out for you? I got laid as much as the Beatles. And how's your program worked out?
I show this slide out of sequence for only one reason. Uh, because stock market ownership today is 40% of the net worth of the public. 40%. So if they have $10,000 in investment and net worth, 4,000 is in stocks and 60,000 is in all the other. And if you can look at the chart in the last 10 years, it's the highest it's ever been. Uh, Investors' appetite for risk is at an all-time high. Stocks as a percent of households' financial assets are above 40% for the first time ever. What's more, Americans are trading on margin like never before. At the end of June, margin accounts total $882 billion, up 50% from just a year ago. And now they're talking about we're, gonna enter, we're entering a period, or we've already entered a period of like the Roaring Twenties. Now, none of you in this room, myself included, is old enough to know what happened after the Roaring Twenties. But we're going to talk a little bit about that. 14 years of depression, that's what happened in, in a sentence. Kids in this room have gone to seminars where people preach we're never going to have a down market. Kids in this room have gone to seminars um, and paid people good money for bullshit. It's quite remarkable to me. It just emphasizes what P.T. Barnum said about 120 years ago. He said there was a sucker born every minute. I believe there's a sucker born every microsecond. I only use this one company Robinhood, which is a, a very vogue investment for young kids, average age of Robinhood uh, investors 31 years old, um, less experienced investors because trades are free, so that's, that's the, how they suck you into the vortex. They're not really free because they're selling off the information, your data, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. The average age is 31 years old, uh, and many of them are first-time investors, and this is how they've scaled up uh, from 2015 uh, to 2021. But the, the, the mo more important thing is that Robinhood and many of the, the companies like Robinhood have come public and come to your uh, awareness in a, a raging bull market. And a rising tide lifts everybody. It lifts the shit and it lifts the Rolls Royces. And so you don't know anything. And if you knew, like I knew, that 87% of all the money on the planet 87% of all the money on the planet are, ra are managed by kids less than 30 years old. You'd be sick to your stomach. I'm going to say it again, slow. 87% of all money on the planet that's managed by other people, are le they're less than 30 years old. What possibly can you fucking know? The frontal lobe of the male, man, has just become developed at between 26 and 28. It's still growing. That's why you do stupid things as a young man. I'm, I can attest to it. I could write a book about this dumb shit that I've done. We've got one man, T, who's a Vietnamese guy, a, a gangbanger. His, his, um, which you're going to hear him on a, a webinar. He said, it's hard for me to get scared ever since I got shot. It was, you know, he robbed banks and shit. It's tough, it's tough for me to get scared, Mr. Pena. Because once you've been shot... Um, uh, relatively close to the heart, actually. Didn't hit him in the heart, he'd be dead. So, yet here, here, some of you, having gone to, through quarantine, congratulations, some of you just, you know, fell off the turnip truck, um, but you're here. And to say that this will be a transformational week is an understatement of biblical proportion. But only if you pull the trigger, meaning take action. We're going to listen to a guy a little later on who was at the seminar three and a half weeks ago. I mentioned him last night. Who, if I was to bet on anybody not pulling the trigger, I would have bet on him not pulling the trigger. I already told you last night, we have historical data. The people that ask the most questions do the worst in the program. 
We don't give the slides anymore. Because we have historical data that you use that as a benchmark. It's like the uh, online shit that you buy. 60% of it's never opened up. The shit that you buy and have Amazon, I guess Amazon, doesn't Amazon, Amazon delivers, you never open up. You never use. 60%. It was the same with our slides, the 2,600 slides. 80% didn't use them. Now you're saying, well, I'm one of the 20%, Mr. Pena. I mean, I'm getting fucked because I'm not getting them. You're full of shit, too. So there's a lot of stuff we don't give anymore. We used to give gold and silver little uh, QLA things uh, to wear on your, uh, your pocket watch. Gold and silver. We used to give Rolex watches away. What a waste of fucking money that was. And as I told you last night, we used to give this motherfucking seminar for free. That was even more of a way. Whatever transcends waste, it transcended. Okay, YouTube, go fuck yourself. <laughs>